Okay, it's back into the kitchen to do more with the Marmite XO. Today, we're going to make a Marmite XO ham and cheese toasty. And uh, I just can't wait. Okay, if there's any children out there, uh, I'm sure you know what this is. It's a knife and uh, if you're a bit too young and inexperienced, it can be quite dangerous. So let's be careful. Okay, that's all the safety tips out of the way. Right, let's, uh, oh, oh, not all the safety tips out of the way. This thing, the sandwich toaster, gets very hot. So, uh, got to be careful with that. Very hot. Maybe uh, mums and dads do this bit. Okay, first, first of all, bread. Four thick slices of. Needed. And what we do, get the old butter. Do a reasonable amount spread very well into every corner on each slice. So one, there's number two, number three. Okay. One, number four. Right, that's the early preparation done. Next, um, get some cheese out. Sharper knife this time. No, danger. Got the cheese. This is quite crumbly, this. It's good stuff. It's... Um, Mature cheddar from uh, oh, Scottish Highlands. Whether or not that matters, you put your favourite cheese on there. Some sliced ham here. Of course, you can use your own favourite ham. What I generally do is get a great big bunch of it. And what I do. I roll it up. Right, yeah, see? And slice it into thin bits. Okay, that's that already. So, all my bits and bobs are ready there to pile on. But the most important thing of this recipe is. Marmite. Normally use the standard, but uh, I've got my Marmite XO here, and that's going to be tested today. So, first of all, what we want to do is a slight little bit of butter on the uh, on the plate of the uh, the toasty maker. Butter, so we can get that out of the way. Put the heat down, turn it on, get that up to heat. Now while I'm doing that, I would have generally done this, but uh, let's just show you what I do. A nice big blob of Marmite and just spread very carefully so you don't wreck the bread. This is on the opposite side of the butter and all depending on how extravagant you really want to be you could do it on all four pieces but you could just do it on the um, on two pieces if you like I'm just going to do it on two two pieces for speed because uh, what we now need to do is prepare what's going inside so really I'll put the ham on there first like so and you can hear that butter sizzling away in there so we're nearly warm enough waiting for the green light on the, uh, the old toasty maker get that ham in there Doesn't look so appetising now that you don't see this bit when it's uh, when it's ready. 
get the cheese, coat it, this is going to melt gorgeously over it all and the marmite's going to blend in, oh yes. So, there we go, I'm ready, toasty machine, not ready yet. Okay, green light's on, let's open up this toasty maker, right. Get the first piece in. And remember, these plates are very hot. And then, always with the butter on the outside to touch the plates. Whack that on there like so. I generally just push it down with a knife to. Uh, Get it into position. She's popped out there. Right. And then carefully shut it down. Right, by the magical powers of video editing and stuff, I'm sure that is ready now. So let's uh, just have a look. Yes, yes. Right, let's. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, that was right. They certainly are ready. Let's take that out there. And another one there. Knives, dangerous, remember. And this is piping hot. So carefully slice down the middle. We all know that um, sandwiches, whether they're toasted sandwiches or otherwise, or pieces of toast, when cut into triangular pieces, always taste better. Right, so there's the finished product. Yes, look at that quality. This, the Marmite XO Ham and Cheese Toasty. Let's give it a go. It's uh, Still very hot, I know it's going to be very hot inside, so um, caution. Always a little nibble first, don't just whack it straight into your mouth. No, no already taste that Marmite XO, it has blended beautifully. Mmm. And by the time that's cool enough to eat, uh, little somebody else is going to have a a taste of it. And I know she's never tried these before. I know it's a repeated reminder, but this Marmite XO limited edition, this is mine. Okay, by the powers of video editing once more, this is called, called down to be acceptable to even give it to a child. So, uh, Josephine, do you want to try this out? That's a uh, Marmite XO Ham and cheese toasty, made by my own fair hand. So uh, get your gnashes around that and see what you think. You probably might have to dig a bit deeper to get to the Marmite, but once that's on your tongue, oh yes. What do you reckon? Have you, have you found the Marmite? And what do you think? Oh, that is so nice. Is there any more? Well, I don't know whether I can spare it, because as you know, the Marmite XO is mine, but... Um, Yes, I suppose I'll let you have another one. Okay, enjoy. Marmite XO, love it. Making sure all the bread's inside. Good old squeeze and clip it, clip it into place and see if you can break it like I've just done mine. Not good news, but hey, let's carry on. <laughs> right, by the magical powers of video editing and stuff, I'm sure that is ready now, so let's uh, just have a look. Yes, yes. And let's uh, switch that off. I'm still clapping my hands like a fool. Quality, quality. Look, oh yes, right. Shut down, make sure it's unplugged. And onto the tasting. Why do I keep showing you my hands? Well, they are clean. Yum. Just a single yum, is that? Or mm. it's a test sensation. <laughs> 